Hi, welcome back to this LTSPath tutorial. In this video, we are going to design common source amplifier and simulate it in LTSPY. We'll also see the trade-offs for increasing the gain of the amplifier. So without wasting time, let's open LTSPY. This is the circuit for CS amplifier with passive resistor load RD. First of all, we need to select a model for our MOSFET so that we can set the process parameters such as mu and mobility, Cox, uh, the capacitance of the oxide, and the VTH, the threshold voltage, etc. There are seven different levels of models, and by default, LTSPICE uses level one, if not specified. We'll also use the level one model since higher levels are complex for analysis. You can see that I have used the SPICE directive dot model and given few parameters. I'll explain it later when we are done with the design. So before simulating, let's do the design of the CS amplifier. So the common source amplifier voltage gain is nothing but equal to minus GM times RD parallel RO, where RD is the drain resistance and RO is nothing but the channel resistance of the MOSFET. But RO is a very large value, so I can approximate this voltage gain is equal to the magnitude of the voltage gain is equal to gm times rd the two parameters which we need to calculate is rd and gm but rd is a fixed value and uh, we have set it to 10 kilo ohms and then gm is nothing but mu and c ox times w by l which is minus vth gm really has three equations two of them which are different dependent on id but this equation is independent of id and uh, this equation is obtained from delta id by delta vgs uh, if you differentiate the id equation with respect to vgs you are going to that get this equation in this equation we have vgs uh, we are going to fix this vgs which is nothing but 0.5 volts which are going to which we are going to see in the lt spice and vth is uh, also fixed for our case which is nothing but 0.4 volts and w by l is a design parameter we are going to fix these values w to 18 micro and l to 0.18 micro and the two unknown parameters left are mu n and c ox fortunately for mosfet models of level 1 to 3 in lt spice there is a parameter called as transconductance parameter which is nothing but the equivalent of mu n times c ox let's fix this value to 200 microampere per volt square with all these values uh, if i calculate the voltage gain gm times rd i'm going to get 20 as a uh, voltage gain let's answer this these questions later uh, and just simulate it if, and see if we get this voltage gain okay let's check our values first in the eldest pies I click on this and it says DC offset 0.5 which is nothing but the VG voltage which I am supplying which is the DC offset so since S is grounded the source is grounded so it becomes VG as VG is 0.5 I have fixed it and uh, the W and L values 0.18 micro and 18 micro as I discussed in the design and uh, yeah the RD value is 10 kilo ohms and this is how I included the parameters KP and VT0. VT0 is the threshold voltage which I'm giving it as 0.4 and uh, KP is the transconductance parameter which I'm giving it as 200 micro. I'll keep this entire file and the, the presentation I did and also the parameters, uh, the available parameters in the level one in the description you can refer to that and use it. Uh, and one more thing I have to tell you is this uh, simulation commands. The simulation commands, if they start with the semicolon, they are comments. They they won't run. Okay, you can remove this comment and run again. So don't worry about this. We will discuss that later. First, I'll run the transient analysis and see what happens. I'll check the output and input. You can see that input is DC shifted because we have uh, given the dc shift dc offset as 0 0.5 volts so i have to subtract 0 0.5 i can do by right clicking on that and i can do minus 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 it's gonna give me with respect to zero so i have the input of one milli and uh, which which is here 
you can also see that by zooming in but uh, it's okay so the v out is nothing but let's see the peak to peak value of v out uh, v out is 20 by 20 20 plus 20 minus 20 it is uh, 40 it's 39.83 it's 40 uh, millivolt peak to peak which is nothing but the 20 uh, gain volt per volt so we can also check this by doing ac analysis let's run the ac analysis let let's comment this by using a semicolon and uh, remove the comment of this let's run this ac analysis from one hertz to one gigahertz okay and i'll give it to v out please make sure that you have given this ac equal to one while doing this ac analysis so it's giving me 26 decibels if you do 10 power 26 by 26.02 whatever this value is divided by 20 10 power 26 divided by 20 you are going to get the 20 value or you can check the right click on this and go to cartesian and check the value of the the magnitude and the phase magnitude is minus 20 because it's a negative gain minus gm times rd parallel ro if you remember it's minus gm so that's how we get so now let's answer the question how can we increase the gain we can increase the gain by increasing gm or increasing rd we can increase gm by increasing id or increasing w by l ratio if we increase the id the power dissipation across the device increases which we don't want to do so we can't increase id if we increase w by l ratio again the gain increases to some level but after some threshold this gain is not going to increase because this w is proportional to id which is nothing but current we know that id is nothing but half mu and c of w by l which is minus vth whole square in saturation region so the v out the dc part of it is nothing but vdd minus id rd so the dc uh, at vd decreases which is nothing but vds uh, the device for saturation condition vds must be greater than or equal to vgs minus vth but as vds decreases uh, the device goes to the output swing decreases so we won't get a good gain if we increase this w by l after some value we'll see that in lt spice and the last value is rd if we increase rd we are going to increase the gain but what happens if rd is increased to a very large value again this v out dc is equal to vdd minus id rd and the output swing decreases so there is a very big trade-off so that we have to choose w and id which maximizes the gain so in order to see the variation of the gain of the amplifier with respect to the rd and the w by l ratio uh, we'll use the spice directive dot step parameter uh, of r and w respectively first i'll simulate with respect to r uh, to do that i have to go here and name this as uh, r okay and i'll uncomment this okay and i'll run this i'm doing the ac analysis so if i keep on ac it is going to give me different plots you can see this value this one it's varying the resistance from 1k to 100k uh, with the 10k variation so if i have to see what are my gains with respect to the different resistances i'll go to select legend step legend and i'll just make it bigger and it's showing me for what value is what color uh, it's using okay so if you, if you can see r starts with 1k and 1k is somewhere over here so it's less than 10 db right it's more than 5 db but as r increases it's going to for 11 kilo ohms it's going to uh, some more than 25 db okay so when r is going to 21k again the gain is going to decrease it's it's less than five de decibels and uh, as r increases more and more it's going less and less and less and less okay so this is how the response of r if you want to see the response of uh, w over l 
we can also see that uh, I'll make this I'll fix this to 10 kilo ohms again as I did before and I'll comment this to and I'll uncomment this W step space directive and I'll name the value of W as W okay with this I can vary the parameter W and see the variation in the output gain and again I'll go and select the step legend and uh, I have very few values over here okay so for W is equal to 1 micrometer uh, it's about purple color it is over here it's less than 4 dB and as W increases to 21 micro it increases to this much which is more than 25 decibels and as W increased more and more again it went down and down so we can see that the gain of the amplifier is not uh, going beyond 30 decibels or 40 decibels so what's next how to increase the gain beyond 30 decibels or 40 decibels can we do it here no we we saw that it cannot have a large gain so the answer is there are different topologies uh, for example the CS amplifier with the active load which we will see in the next video so if we want to have a higher gain we have to go for a different topology that's it thank you for watching and if you like the video please share the video if it is really helpful